Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will uh, create this diamond bracelet. Uh, we, we, we will control the geometry, both the geometry of the bracelet and of the diamond. But for the geometry of the diamond I will refer to my previous tutorial that you find here. If you want to change the... at, at the end of the definition you, you can change the uh, for uh, the shape of the bracelet you can change the number of the diamond on the bracelet in both direction and you can still move the shape of the diamond so if you want a diamond with nine phases nine principal phases you can do it only moving this slider so at the end we will have something like this this will be our result if you enjoy the video and you want that I still continue to create this kind of video please is uh, subscribe to my channel and um, like the videos. Good work! We start opening the grasshopper definition of the diamond we made the previous tutorial. You find the link on the description. Now we, so we open this definition diamond we open it, we have our diamond all the geometry was here on this um, parameter so we, cre we can create another parameter uh, from which star 4 so surface, we put the geometry that was in dia diamante inside the surface and so we create this new parameter that we call dia uh, diamond ok, now we are going to create the shape of the bracelet so, first of all we create a point Uh, we construct a point vector and uh, we can start from 10 10 10 ok this is our starting position then we are going to move this point we can move it in x direction double click on the canvas and click x so you have the vector now we create a slider to define this dis distance it will be the bracelet thickness call it bra bracelet uh, x component x uh, dimension okay now we can, can create a line between this point line between two points is this one so we uh, link the point the first point with the second one uh, the second one creating this line okay now we uh, 
we will divide this line, divide curve, and we obtain a lot of points. Now we are going to move these points in direction y perpendicular to the previous line in direction y of an amount who is uh, derived by a um, graph mapper. So we create graph mapper Now we create a series of uh, numbers to insert inside the graph mapper. To, to do this we create a range okay. and uh, now we can create a slider to, uh, to declare how many points we want in this line, so we want we create a big slider 100 and we link it to n, then we link the same counter to n of range. The domain is from 0 to 1 for the moment, it's okay. And uh, so we uh, we check this, we have uh, uh, 101, so we have to use. Um, Met operator to uh, coordinate the list. So, so, uh, so we we link the in A we we put 100 in B we put uh, a panel with uh, multiline data and we put one. This is our constants constant. So we have from R we link with N. So at the end we have. 100 and now is okay. Now we can uh, modify graph mapper, graph types, we choose parabola and we uh, link this with the y vector. Now, as you can see, we have a profile well defined. This will be the profile of our bracelet. You can see we can move in every position we want. Okay. Now these are our our points. We we select all and disable preview. So we we can focus on it. These are our points. Uh, how we interpolate with the component interpolate 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 points this is okay now we have a curve now we have only a curve so we need the last points we have a, a, a component that do this um, end points on the curve panel now we have the first point and the second point. So what we can do is move the first point in y uh, direction of how much of the thickness of the of the bracelet. So thick I don't know if it's right well thickness. If it's not, forgive me. Um, okay, this is the thickness and uh, also the endpoint. We apply to the endpoint the same, the same. And uh, if if the thickness is constant, is the same. We can also do like this. We link both the vector with the same slider. 
Now we have to model the interior part and uh, if you want to make it uh, like an arc is, is it possible but uh, I use a line so line between two points first point and second point now we have to also to link the start point with the first point and uh, the end point end point with the second point of the line okay now our profile is okay but uh, we need only to to link together all these lines and we use join 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 cars join cars and so we link this core with this core with this core with this core now we want to create a revolution around an axis so first we will define the axis for the moment I disable this preview so I can see what I'm selecting I want this line I want to create an offset of this line offset in order to in order to uh, individuate the rotation axis you see that uh, if we if I put a positive slider here is moving the line on uh, the left I want the line to be moved on the right so I only change the the number I change this the sign of the of the slider this way okay now this is the position of our rotation axis perfect now I want to create a surface free for revolution and what I will uh, and what I will revolve I will revolve my curve around my axis and I want the all the all the circle to be to be created so domain is too big reco and uh, it is okay for me because uh, 2 pi greco is uh, 360 degree now the mat the silver part is okay now we have to add diamonds and uh, we have to work on a surface so first of all we uh, co uh, we copy this part revolve surface and we are going to create a second uh, surface of revolution but uh, we only revolve this one in, uh, interpolate curve interpolate curve we revolve okay now we disable the preview of the previous definition to help working on this one okay now the point is that we want to create a lot of boxes oriented on the surface in order to create a, a morphing of the diamond on this surface so first of all we have to <coughs> go to surface util and uh, isotrim isotrim let you divide the surface depending on a domain on a base domain so first of all we have a surface so we have a, a UV system so a two dimensional system so we have to create a two dimensional domain and to create a two dimensional domain we go on uh, math domain uh, construct domain 
2. Okay, now the of base we have uh, 0, 1, 0, 1 domain. It is okay if we reparameterize surface. If we reparameterize surface, the base surface, this, uh, this is okay. Um, if you want to know something about reparameterize, the, the meaning, you can see my tutorial related to, to the argument. Now, we have um, this uh, domain, we have to divide this domain in a subdomain. And uh, so I uh, start putting some casual number because I want to see how, how is our coordinate system inside the surface. So here I put the hider value and I want to see which is my u direction and my v direction. So uh, this, these are partition of the original domain. I, I link this partition to D. Okay. If I see 85 is in this direction, I want uh, the, the, opposite, the opposite. So I will um, assign the either value to u and the lower to v. This is right. Okay, you have 10 division on this on this direction and 61 around. And uh, this will be the number of diamond around bracket and this is number of diamond of of uh, a row of diamond okay now we have these subsurfaces what we are going to do with this this sur subsurfaces is to create uh, a box for each one so uh, is on transform morphing surface box we take the surface and we give this as value as domain okay what happened he create a box for every subsurface and uh, this box is also oriented what it what does it mean? It means that the, the box uh, has uh, 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 the, the normal box is uh, the same of the surface. 